Dan, thanks for the invitation to Portsmouth today to uh, Geo Kingsbury's. We're going to look at a few machines. The first one is this C250 performance line model. Tell us uh, to start with the dimensional uh, axes size of this particular machine. So this working envelope, we have 600 in the X, 550 in the Y, and 450 in the Z. Now, as a five-axis machine, there is, there is yeah. dozens, hundreds of machines in the marketplace. The new performance line has been bought out by Hermely. What's the reason behind them introducing this model or models? Um, what they've done is they've uh, streamlined the specification of these, these machines so that there's slightly less options than on the high performance line machines. So for example, on the performance line machines, you can only get it with the Heidenheim control, whereas on the high performance line, you get it on the Siemens or the Heidenheim. On the spindle configuration, we have only two options on here, 15,000 or 18,000. So this is the performance line machine, yes. and, and it comes with uh, not as many options as the high performance line is what I'm gathering. But how about the machine itself? Is it, is, it, is it made with compromise as well then? Is it a different casting? Is it a different foundation? Is it built differently? No, certainly not. Um, these machines, the performance line machines, aren't made in the Far East or Eastern Europe. They're made in exactly the same factory as the high performance line machines. With the same engineers, same components, um, and same level of detail. Same testing procedures as they come out of the, out the factory? Yep, certainly, and the same mineral casting beds as well. Okay, now we all know that Geo Kingsbury's had a lot of success over the years with the, the C20, the C22 now, and 42. If I had one of those machines and then I opted for this C250, what, what differences am I going to see from a, on a finished part? Anything? In terms of surface quality, reliability, you're not going to see any difference because, like I say, these are all ma made up until the point of uh, options being put onto it, they're made exactly the same as the high performance line machines. Okay, a question people will be thinking as well then, does that therefore mean that these, the C250 line, for example, the, the performance line is less money than the C222? Yeah, because we've, we could say we've streamlined the specification, um, Hermley are making more machines of the same build. So bringing you into a new yeah. market basically now, you, you, you can offer, you can compete maybe where, in areas where you couldn't before because price is a, is a sensitive subject sometimes. It certainly is, yeah, especially when Hermley obviously make a high quality machine, um, the price sometimes... Uh, so if you thought you couldn't afford a Hermley, you might be able to now with this C250. Uh, performance line that's a big point uh, yeah. what, tell me about this table as well here uh, yeah. this, tell me about the a-axis and the c-axis uh, how they're driven and, and and what the benefits are to this machine yeah so on the performance line machine we have uh, drive just on one side of the a-axis trunnion um, and on the c-axis you have a worm drive whereas on the high performance line it's possible get to to get the dynamic um, a-axis with tandem drive on both sides and you can also get the torque drive on this on the c-axis Okay, but again, that would be an option on the high performance line. What I'm interested in knowing what's happening on either side of this uh, table here. You've got like fixture points. What, what's that about? Yeah, so with this machine, you can get various um, table configurations, even on the performance line. So what we can have, rather than having this big table, we can have a smaller table in the middle and have some secondary side plates. So in essence, what you could have is operation one on the left-hand side, the main operation in the middle, and then the finishing operation on the right-hand side. Okay, that's, that's giving you more flexibility, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. Now, when this A-axis tips as well, what I can see here is that swarf extraction is directly underneath the table, which, I mean, that means it's, it's pretty efficient at getting the material out of the machine. Yeah, it certainly is, yeah. And combined with the high-pressure coolant that the machine's available with, um, yeah, that can blast out a lot of, cool, a lot of swarf from deep cavities. With this actual spindle on the performance line, what is it coming with as standard? I know there's two options, isn't there? 15 and 18, did you say? Yeah, yeah. So a standard, it comes with a 15,000 HSK 63, um, but you can also get it with an 18,000 HSK 63. And are these direct drive spindles? Um, these are two-piece spindles. Um, so what you have in between them is you've got some crush bushes, which if you have a Z-axis collision, uh, the crush bushes would take the brunt of the collision and save the spindle itself. Ah, hang on, that's quite unique. Is that is that uh, you, is that only to design from from Hermley? Yes. So on the Z axis, if I have yeah. a I have an incident that it's like yeah. a cushioning impact. Yes, yeah. So you, these are sacrificial aluminium bushes which take the the brunt of the collision and uh, trigger an e-stop. 
before any damage is done. And how often does your service department uh, come across instances where it's, been, it's saved com you know, companies thousands of pounds in time? Yeah, well, our service engineers, they have these crush bushes in the back of their car. So if, if unfortunately it does happen, um, then it takes half a day for our service engineer just to take the bottom piece of the spindle out, replace the bushes, and then put it back together. Impressive, very impressive that one. What about the this machine and its accuracy and maintaining accuracy? Does it is, is scales an option just on the high performance line or is that available on this too? No, that's the same on, on both machines, yeah. Is that an option or is it actually standard no, with it? Just, that is standard, yeah. And what about your tool, uh, the amount of tools that you can have on this machine? Um, so the machine's available with uh, an extended magazine. Um, so we've got either a ZM50, which is an, an additional 50 tools, or a ZM88, which is an obviously 88 extra tools. But if I, was, if I didn't want that, and I'm looking at this machine here, which has been doing demonstrations for customers and, and, and available from stock, what would it come with as standard without the additional tool changer? As standard, the, tool, the machine's got 30 tools. Uh, how about the control system on this? You mentioned earlier about the differences between having Siemens on the high performance line. Yeah. Is just Heidenhain here? Just Heidenhain on here. Just Heidenhain TNC 640, the new control from, from Heidenhain. Now, we've learned a lot in the last five or six minutes, yeah. Dan. It's been an education for me and hopefully yeah. for my, our, our viewers as well. So for engineers that before might have thought, Hermely, it's out of my reach, it's out of my league, it's too expensive. That isn't the case now, is it? No, it's not, no. Due to the streamlined specification on the performance line machines, Hermley are making a lot of the machines that are the same. So due to economy of scale, this opens the door for a lot of smaller subcontract companies. Good stuff, thanks Dan. So therefore, if you're looking for a five axis machine in centre and you did think Hermley, great machine, but it's, it's out of my price range, it may be well worth looking at this C250 five axis machine performance line from Geo Kingsbury.